Pakistan says that shelling from India has hit a passenger bus, killing at least 10 civilians. It happened in the disputed Kashmir region along the so-called line of control, the unofficial border between the two territories. There's been escalating tension in that region for months now, with both sides accusing the other of violating the ceasefire. Let's go live now to Pakistan's capital, Islamabad. Al Jazeera's Kamal Haider uh, is there for us. Kamal, what more do we know about this incident? Well, we are told that this particular incident took place about 90 kilometers northeast of the capital of Pakistani administered Kashmir, Muzaffarabad in Neelam Valley, where a coaster, Toyota coaster bus, came under rocket and small arms fire. A number of people were killed there. We are told that five bodies are still on the bus because the ambulance that tried to evacuate the dead and the wounded also came under fire. Some of the uh, wounded have already been moved to a hospital in Altmakam, which is not very far from there. But it is interesting to note that the road that leads from Neelam Valley down to Muzaffarabad uh, travels very close to the line of control. In most cases, Indian troops in forward positions can see that traffic. We are told that nine people are now reportedly killed on that, but another person has been killed in another sector. The situation is critical, according to sources in Pakistani-administered Kashmir, and there's been a number of uh, ceasefire violations in several sectors along the line of control. Come on, do we know what sparked this incident and where does it fit into this pattern of ceasefire violations? Well, if you remember back in September, the Indians uh, said that uh, one of their military bases at Uri came under attack, that is on the Indian side of uh, Indian administered Kashmir across the line of control. India blamed Pakistan for carrying out the attack. After that, India said that it had uh, taken revenge from Pakistan by conducting a surgical strike. Pakistan denied that. So we've seen over the past few months es an escalation along the line of control, uh, both sides blaming each other. The Indians admitted that they had lost three soldiers uh, just a little over 24 hours ago, that there was going to be uh, retaliatory fire from the Indian as well. But this is a, an area where things can escalate fast. Now, just to give you an idea, Neelam Valley has about 250,000 people, almost a quarter of a million people, who depend on this vital road which links to Muzaffarabad, and that road runs very close to the line of control. So we can say now that the road is now blocked for all traffic, nobody's able to move, and that, of course, will increase the people's difficulties in Neelam Valley. Kamal, many thanks. Kamal Haider there, live in Islamabad.